Division. In fact, it's the side that won at Carlisle last weekend to end that uh, long, depressing run. Still no George Best. He's due to play in a five-a-side tournament in Copenhagen this week and should be fit for next Saturday. As for Sheffield United, basically a young side with the experience of men like Eddie Cahoon at five and Alan Woodward at seven to balance things out. So Warboys waits. Mitchell's in there. Ernie Howe's come up on the goal line. Now with a long, long corner. Warboy is getting a header in. Touched in there, finally, yes. Mitchell, I think, must be credited with it. The goal that Fulham badly wanted. Coming from uh, Slough's corner. A good header when it was badly wanted. And Mitchell hooking it in past Jim Brown. bringing down Maybank well that could only have been fractionally inside the area but it was enough and the referee felt sure that that uh, had to be a penalty a foul by Cutbush there on Maybank and Maybank the man who is going to be entrusted with the penalty kick Sheffield United very aggrieved with that penalty decision and they may be more aggrieved still if Maybank can uh, put it past Jim Brown. Here he goes. 2 nothing. So with three minutes to go to half-time, that gives a full on the bit of breathing for the space that they want. Maybank, Maybank very happy indeed. And indeed, uh, quite calmly slotting that ball past Jim Brown from the spot. Now Mark Jerison. Strong bursting up on the outside of him. There he goes. Ball played nicely for Les Strong. With Mitchell in the middle, Warboys in the middle. And Story coming up fast as well. Playing it wide there for Teddy Maybank. Took well on his chest. And Maybank again! smiling incredible bit of luck the long cross from Peter Story the long cross from Story searching out Maybank what a good bit of skill there taking it on his chest and he knocked it into the center and it came back off a Sheffield United player I think it was Longhorn straight back to Maybank again impossible angle and yet he made it possible Garner to Hansen, or rather to Edwards this time. There's Hansen. Oh, nice little bit of play by him. Oh, a bit of acceleration brought down. Penalty. The foul by Howe on Hansen. That's the first real break that Hansen has made, and he's shown one or two very good touches, and he was a, it was a lovely break indeed, until he was brought down by Ernie Howe. And again, the referee had no hesitation whatsoever in pointing to the spot. Well, Alan Woodward... against Jerry Payton. Lovely crisp hitter of all is Alan Woodward. As you can see. Perfect penalty taken, hitting the stanchion right in the back of that goal there by Alan Woodward. Almost side-footing it. Payton's dive of no avail. And that makes it Fulham 3, Sheffield United 1. He's looked as good as anybody for Sheffield United today, without any doubt at all. Frank's playing a good ball here now. Played in first time once more. Cutbush nicking it on. Oh, off the post and in by Edwards. Well, that's the second one for Sheffield United, and that will give us quite a finish. And as they played it down that right-hand side, it was a lovely little back flick that it finally, uh, with uh, Woodward pouncing on it as well, and the ball coming off the Fulham post invitingly for Keith Edwards to hit it over the line. 
well, they did make it hard for themselves. But where do Fulham stand now? Uh, well, they've clawed their way out of immediate danger. It seems they are five off the bottom now until you realise that of the nine games they have left, uh, five of them are away and four at home. And the teams that have got to come to Craven Cottage yet include Chelsea and Blackpool, both looking for promotion, and Orient are struggling to get away from the bottom. So it's a tough programme for Fulham.